Ooh, man, so I got five facts about the Glaucus Atlanticus, the uh, blue dragon of the deep, the deep sea. Ooh. Sometimes blue dragon, Glaucus Atlanticus. Scientifically named, they're given unanimous. So fact number one, they're named after a Greek god. And it says right here that these sea creatures were first discovered by a scientist named Froster over 242 years ago in 1777. He named the strange creature Glaucus Atlanticus after the Greek sea god Glaucus, who was once said to have eaten a magical herb that made him immortal. Oh man. I've got a lot of magical herb down here in the deep sea, but uh, it won't make you immortal, but it'll definitely... Uh, yeah, they'll definitely have a good time, that's for sure. Hmm. Fact number two! They have small and extremely short lifespans. Well, so much for that uh, magical immortal herb, right? <laughs> so it says right here that at maturity, Glaucus Atlanticus can typically get up to about three centimeters in length, which is about one and a quarter of an inch in length, and they can only live up to about a year under the right conditions. Fact number three! They have the ability to camouflage. Now, this is really interesting. So they use a method called countershading in order to escape from predators. And it says right here that these blue dragons float on their backs, exposing their brightly colored underbelly to airborne predators. Fact number four, they eat danger for breakfast. Now, this is crazy, man. <laughs> Especially considering how small they are. But the blue dragon's favorite snack is the Portuguese man of war an extremely venomous ocean drifter that resembles a jellyfish. Isn't that crazy? Dude, if you, th if you think that's crazy, man, listen to this. So once ingested, it siphons off the man of war's sting cells and concentrates them back in its own finger-like appendages. And it can amass a large number of these cells, which makes it a much greater threat to humans than the man of war. Isn't that nuts? So yeah, uh, if you're considering having this as a house pet, think again. I mean, what's if you can feed this thing giant, deadly jellyfish and uh, not get stung by it? You might want to reconsider your options. Just saying. Fact number five, they are hermaphrodites. And it says right here that all blue dragons are hermaphrodites, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive organs. Well, that is the end of the episode, my friends. Hope you guys all have a good rest of your day, and we'll see y'all next time. Cheers. We gonna come up at this thing at a new angle. Sometimes they be costly swallow, sometimes blue angel. And when it comes to defense, these models and lagging. Sometimes they be costly slugs, and sometimes blue dragon. Glaucus Atlanticus. Scientifically named, they're given unanimous. Yeah, the color they given off something glamorous. In the family of models, so they gelatinous.